Hey guys, it's me Tristan and uh, we're going to continue with this uh, Sherman tank over here. Of course it is the Tommy Cooker competition by Captain Napalm and uh, thanks to Dan Buster and Gav who so helpfully pointed out the road wheel uh, subject up. So the first paints we will be using are black and yellow olive mixed together. Two parts of the yellow olive and one part black and that should get a nice dark uh, soft mix maybe some of you remember the flames of war showcase i did i had uh, four painted germans in that video you can see that uh, I painted those four quite differently from this one. Had this one left over, and I saw a perfect uh, opportunity to experiment with some paints and some styles I wanted to try out. Flames of War is, is really fun, and some of the local people here have shown up some interest in it, so I might get them into the game. I'm painting the tank tracks at the moment using the yellow, olive and uh, black mix. It looks really like this olive green like. But that's just a base coat. It, it'll work out once we get to the black wash stage, the highlight stages, and stuff like that. So it's pretty straightforward this part. I just don't want to get uh, the paint done to. Ooh, someone's messaging me. I just don't want to get the paint done. Uh, to the surface that you painted before so for uh, this I use my base coat brush you can see it's a bit old and it has seen things Whoa. there's the white and my white palette is still alive what do you know I wash it out I wash it out we're getting slowly slowly getting there Someone slowly, slowly messaging me, but that's okay, cause he's my friend, and he's the one that got me into Malifo. Or was it the other way around? I can't remember. Anyways, we play Malifo. It's it's fun. But unfortunately, he's um he's not the uh, land type of a guy, so he works on a ship, meaning that he's most of the time away. Well, but at the same time. He has a lot of free time to paint on the ship. That counts for something, doesn't it? Let's continue on with this side. Yeah, we go to get the paint on the tracks. We want the tracks to be painted. We want the tank to be painted, don't we? Well, I do. Because I've got something really special for the next project that I want to be painting. Dan Buster and Gav, thanks again for pointing out the thing about the wheels that it's uh, actually made of rubber, made out of rubber. So thank you for pointing that out. To be honest, at, uh, at first I thought I'd paint the whole tank in um, some weird sci-fi scheme, like in this ahistorical 
way. I really thought about making it like the red coach tank, but I thought that's not what Captain Napalm would have expected to see in his, uh, in his competition. I, I wouldn't have wanted to upset him or anyone, or anyone else. And I thought that it really wouldn't uh, work out the way, like leaving it. I think it would have wouldn't have looked like. I just want to ask, like, are these made out of rubber as well? Please let me know. Here I noticed that I forgot to paint these up. Now this next step is done again with the black wash. I think uh, Nuln Oil works pretty much the same way or even better. So we can go on to highlighting, which is basically the same, using a yellow olive and black, and mixing them up. Uh, so if before we went with two parts olive, one part black, I think now we're gonna go four parts of the olive and one part black. Do any of you guys use Maelstrom games? They seem to have a bit of a problem lately. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but let's say I'm I'm waiting to start the project, but apparently I'm unable to, cause 
they won't send me the pieces or products that I need. That's why I've been using a lot of the other web stores lately. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this uh, inspires you in a way. Again, if you have a Sherman tank lying around or you are able to acquire one, then I suggest you get one and paint it up and take a video or take some pictures and send to Captain Napalm. Keep it safe and I'll talk to you next time.